Hello, guys. Good evening to everyone. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Perfect. Uh, well, so once again, we're just have two people again at the beginning. Probably the other ones are going to connect today. Well, today, guys, we're going to have a lot of activities regarding to listening, regarding to speaking, and pronunciation. <clears throat> I hope, guys, that you studied the verbs and that you were able, you know, to have um, a little bit of practice because uh, I will try to do that at the end of the class. Why? Because now at the beginning, it's most of the time they don't connect on time. So I will try to do that at the end. Uh, well, I still see only two of you. That's really weird. Yesterday, we just had like seven or eight. Well, the assistance is the one that is going to be affected in your case. But, all right. So, the two of you, did you guys study? Uh, yes, it's true. You did. Okay, that's good. All right, so remember that the instructions were that we were going that you were going to select five out of the twelve verbs that I sent you on the WhatsApp uh, chat, and uh, from those twelve, you were supposed to select five, and you were going to tell me today the pronunciation of the past and past possible form. Um, um, but I I have a question, teacher. Yeah, what's your question? Um, about the twelve server mm -hmm. is um iPhone like uh. What do you mean by iPhone? iPhone. What's what? What is that? I don't understand that one. You mean found. you mean found? Um, found. Yeah. Okay, you found what? I I, I found that is unknown. A noun. Yeah, a noun. No, is a verb. Severed. Okay, severed, it's... At, severed? Yeah, it can be used as a noun. Yeah, it can. But we also use can use it as a verb. Like, for example, in this case, uh, I can tell you my mother had a severed uh, headache yesterday. It's like severo. That's that's pretty much that. Of course, mm -hmm. it's it can be used as a noun, but that's okay. I mean, I just wanted you to select five okay. out of the 12. So you decide which one, okay? okay. <clears throat> All right. But that, that was a really good question, though. So welcome to the ones that just connected. Thank you very much for being here. And I hope more people connect today because yesterday, as I was saying, we only had eight people and uh you know it's it's like your attendance is the one that will affect you at the end because if you don't know guys i will have to give you a score every single week that like when we finish our week which is from Monday through Thursday. On Thursday, I will have to assign you a note, depending on your attendance, depending on your participation, and of course, depending on everything that we do in the class. If I see that you, you know, that you're here every day, that you're participating, that you're, uh, you know, if we have activities, you're here, so that, of course, is going to help you to get a good score. Otherwise, you will be affected. What does that mean? It means, you know, that for the next module, you might have some troubles. So you have to be careful on that. If you are not coming to the class, I told you at the beginning of the of the module, if you are not coming to the class, please let me know. Because if you do not say anything, I will take it like, like, like if you were not present, you were not in here. So because you didn't say anything. But what happens if you tell me? If you tell me, I will notify Inglés Corporativo that you ask for permission. That's how it works, guy. Now, um, well, 
So today is going to be very practical. And what, I'm, what I mean by that is that I need you all guys to have your notebook. If you're using a notebook, if not, have a pen or a pencil, a paper, a piece of paper. If you're using your computer or your phone, that's okay. Use your notepad or whatever you, whatever app you use to take notes. Why? Today, we are going to use vocabulary, vocabulary that some of you already know, but we are going to do things a little bit different. How we're going to do that? The way that I want to do it is like more participative. It's like every one of you is going to be participating and of course, taking notes of what I'm going to be saying. At the end of this practice, I will ask you for a proof. What does it mean? That I will ask you to send me a copy or a photo or a screenshot of whatever app or a notebook if you use the notebook, okay? So <clears throat> what is going to be the practice of it? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I have a little cold and I feel like, you know, my throat is not working properly today. So <clears throat> I might be like <clears throat> coughing sometimes, but that's okay. Um, well, so it's clear what we are going to do today, guys. Do you guys have any question regarding to what I said or are we clear? Because we are going to start now. We cannot lose more time. Teacher, I can, can you repeat the, the instruction, please? Yeah, today we are going to have a more practical class, which means that we are going to use vocabulary. So I need everyone to have pen, paper, or whatever, a pencil, or if you are using your computer, or if you are using your phone to take notes, I need you to have that ready. Why? Because this is going to be an activity with an score. Si, es una actividad con nota. Okay, so, uh, and I need you that at the end of this practice, you will have to send me a photo, a screenshot to the WhatsApp group so we can know that you worked on that. If you didn't work on that, so that will be zero in your exam for today. As I was saying, guys, mm -hmm. if you are not coming to the class, please let me know because your attendance might be affected, okay? Uh, I'm not someone that will not understand. No, I completely understand your situation. I know that some of you work really hard during the day and some of you are still working at night. I completely understand. But please, if you are not coming, let me know because otherwise your attendance will be like zero. Why? Because you didn't come that day. You didn't let me know. Okay? So in order for you not to have any problem in the future, Please let me know in case you are not coming to the class. So are the instructions clear for the activity that we are going to have? <clears throat> Hello? I need a yes or a no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I understood. Yes, teacher. All right. So if everyone is ready with a pen, pencil, paper, or your phone or your computer, whatever you're using, please. The instructions or more instructions for you to have are the followings. This vocabulary, it's known for some of you, for some others, probably not. What I'm going to do is that I will spell the word to write it down and then Next to the word, you write the meaning in Spanish. If you are the first one that finished that, you raise your little hand on the meeting chat or in the meeting, and you tell me what is the word in English I told you, and you tell me the meaning in Spanish. Clear? Or do I have to say this in Spanish? Yes, teacher, is, uh, I can't. I can get up and your hand in the chat 
in, mm -hmm. in the in the this group mm -hmm. uh, but every word or with a finish all the word you you say no like for example like like, like um eh, yo les digo una palabra se las deletreo one by one se las deletreo y usted le escribe y logra identificar cuál es la palabra a la par de la palabra escribe su significado en español y luego cuando ya lo tenga usted rápidamente dice teacher me y dice su nombre porque no voy a saber por quién cada, es mi por cada palabra por, por cada, cada palabra, palabra sí uh -huh. voy a ir tomando en consideración quién dice más palabras la persona que tenga más palabras al final vamos a tener tres lugares uno dos tres la primera persona que tenga las mayor, la mayoría de palabras en primer lugar va a tener dos puntos extra en el examen final. La persona que tenga el segundo lugar un punto y la tercera un punto as well. ¿Ok? Because this is a vocabulary, es vocabulario que ya sabemos. Y si no lo sabe, pues that's ok, so you will learn it today. ¿Sí? Al final usted me hace la pregunta y discutimos, teacher, what does it mean? ¿Ok? ¿Are we clear? ¿Estamos claros? Sure. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yeah. Yeah, Francisco, what's your question? I have a question. Uh, sorry, uh, for de, la, de las palabras, hay una que sí tengo un pequeño problema que no encuentro el significado en sí. Cut off. Cut off. What's cut uh -huh. off? Uh, de los verbos que usted dejó ayer. Ah, ok. No, es... no recuerdo. No, no. Eh, eh... <coughs> Eh, investigo un poco, solo sé que es cortar, pero no en sí, no sé el significado. Mm, not really. Cortar is not really. Cut off. Does anyone mm -hmm. know? ¿Alguien sabe um, what's cut off? It's similar. It's similar. Um, figure to alejarse de alguien. Mm, well, that's okay. Uh, al, al final vamos a tener esa actividad también, chicos, de los verbos de ayer. No se me ha olvidado, ¿ok? Este día usted me va a demostrar por qué está en avanzado, ¿ok? And I'm sorry. It's no, no tengan miedo de eso, ¿ok? Estamos acá para aprender, sin miedo al éxito, chicos, ¿ok? Uh, otra frase. Ahí va a disculpar. No, that's to okay. Speak Spanish in this moment. Mm -hmm. Otra frase is sever. Uh, I don't know what is the significance of Spanish. Yes. Well, severe. Sever. You mean severe? Uh, severe? It's severe. Pronunciation? Yeah, ah, that's okay, severe, sorry. yeah. It's severo. Uh, it's like uh, when we use it as a verb, it's severo. Okay, I'm sorry, again, thanks. Okay, that's okay. Alrighty, so uh, that's activity number two. Esa es la actividad número dos. So please, let's be ready for the activity for today. Okay? <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's go. I hope everyone is ready. And I will repeat, voy a repetir cada, pal, cada letra, I'm sorry, each letter three times, tres veces. Cada letra tres veces y luego repito al final toda la palabra completa una vez, letra por letra, ¿ok? Recuérdese, la escribe en su cuaderno y a la par escribe su significado en español. Si usted la termina y la escribió rápido... Des, eh, enciende su, uh, su micrófono y dice teacher me, en este caso ejemplo, Wendy, ella dice me, Wendy, ok, Wendy she got point number one no le vamos a dar el punto todavía porque no sabemos si la respuesta que me va a dar es la correcta, ok alrighty, so I hope everyone is ready, recuérdense que voy a necesitar que todos me envíen su información, caso contrario, su uh, Attendance, su asistencia del día de hoy no sería tomada, chicos. Why? Because you're not participating. ¿Ok? It's like you're not here. Usted está aquí, pero solo está su cuerpo de ahí. Usted no ha venido a la clase, ¿ok? <clears throat> so, all right. So, let's go. And we go with the first one. B. B. U. U. T, T, C, C, H, H, E, E, R. So let's go. B, U, T, C, H, E, R. Butcher. 
Okay, and what's the meaning in Spanish? Like, I think it's panadero. <clears throat> okay, someone else? Voucher, carnicero. Exactly, Patricia. So let's go and we have the first point for Patricia. So she got the first one. Let me type it in on the chat, Patricia. Number one. So, carniceria, chicos, butcher, butcher. Okay, now let's go with word number two. It's going to be really easy, though. It's, uh, let's see. No, that's too easy. <clears throat> All right, let's go with the next one. It's L, L, A, A, U. U N N T D E E R R E E T T once again T T E E Well, I repeat it again. L A U N D E R E T T E. E teacher. Laundry. 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 Yeah, that's correct. What's that in Spanish? Lavanderia. Exactly. So we got Noemi. Noemi, she got another one. She got number two. So what's going on with the others? Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So let's go with word number three. This is going to be really easy. Uh, well, the first three, las primeras tres, la letra la voy a repetir dos veces a partir de la cuatro, de la cuarta palabra, solo una vez cada letra. Okay. Now, let's go with number three. And we go with. D, D, R, R, U, U, G, G. Oh, let me see. Oh, sorry. Um, let's see. I got a requesting here. Sorry, I got just confused by this one. It's a person locally. Oh, I, I really don't know, so I will say no. Okay, so let me repeat it again, guys. Sorry. D R U G S S T T O O R E. I repeat it again. D R U G S T O R E. Drugstore. 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 Okay. <laughs> So, that was going to be like, it was a little tough in this one. So, I will give one point to Arabin and another one to Janita. Because both of you said it at the same time. Peter, entonces, solo el micrófono, ya no la, ya no la mano? Oh, because, um, well, now it's, I think that doing that is better. But, uh... So you can do it either way, either way though, because I will I will still check it. So we got there. So now from now on, I will only repeat each letter one time. Okay. Now let's go. This is really easy. G A L L E R Y. G A L L E R Y. Gallery. Galleria. Galleria. So we will give one to Arriving and you gotta be fast on this one. Now let's go with number five. So, uh, P R I S O N P R I S O N Prison 
Okay. Simon. Okay, so I will I will give uh, I will give the point to Debbie even though she didn't say the meaning in Spanish, but that I will give it to her. <clears throat> okay. So uh, I'm tired. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. Now uh, let's go with the next one. S Q U A R E S Q U A R E. Cuadrado, square. Excellent, Janira. Thank you very much. <clears throat> what about the others? What's going on, guys? ¿Qué está pasando? What's going on? All right. Now, let's go with another one really easy. Z-O-O. -O. Z -O -O. Nobody? CEO? Nobody? Oh. <laughs> Wendy, are you trying to say something? Zoo? Zoo, exactly. That's zoo. What's that? Zoologico. Excellent. All right. We go with number seven. This is really easy as well. This word is combined of two words, okay? So I will say the first word and then I will tell you space and we start the second one, okay? Now, let's go. P E T R O L, space. S T A T I O N. I repeat it. Petrol station. What's that? Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Okay, who said that? Please tell me your names because I got confused. When you speak, it's like uh, I get confused. Tell me your names. So I will I will give that to Arturo and Debbie since she said something as well. So guys, from now, uh, let's say we go, we got seven already. So let's go with number eight. And we go with another one that is really easy. H A I R D R. E S S E R. I repeat it. H A I R D R E S S E R. Okay. Uh, I I don't get it. <laughs> and what's what's in English? Hairdresser. Hairdresser. Thank you, Debbie. Already, and now we we'll go with number nine, and we we'll go with C I N E M A C I N E M A. Cinema. Cinema. What's that in Spanish? Uh, like. Uh... Cine. Like, cine. like cine, that's cine. real. Yeah, that's that's cine. it. And now the last one, but not least one. This one is uh, it's compound by two words once again. Now let's start. C R A F T space M A R K E T. I repeat it again. C R A F T space M A R K E T. Craft maker. Say it again. Craft maker. Craft maker. Okay, and what's that? I will give you I will give you the, the point, Wendy, even though it's it's no it's market. Craft market. 
Es un mercado de artesanías o manualidades. And that's pretty much the activity that we have for today. And I will give you one minute for you to go over all the words, check them all, verify if you have one missing letter, and then after that, you go ahead and send me a screenshot or a photo through the WhatsApp group. Um, teacher, I, I, I couldn't write the seven, seven word. Oh, so that's okay. So I'm sorry about that. So <laughs> go with it. Okay. Send me the, send me the screenshot. So let's, while you're doing that, I will count the points and we have, let's see. Okay, I already started receiving some of you. Thank you. All right, let's see. All right, I got the majority of you already. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm count counting the points right now. Just give me one second. Wow, so looks like we have a, we have a match. <clears throat> oh, I forgot. Wendy, you got two. All right, so we have the scores. Patricia, you got one. Danira, she got three. Noemi, she got one. Arabin got two. And David got three. So what I'm going to do, guys, I will give you uh, Debbie and Danira. I will give you two extra points for the final exam. And arriving and Wendy, you will also have one. And I will also take in consideration Patricia and Noemi because they participated. So you guys have one as well. OK, good job for the other ones, guys. Uh, well, I'm checking right here. And. I can notice that some of you correct them. It's very, I can, I can see it, but that's okay. So that's a good try though. Now, um, we have another activity guys, which is the verbs, okay? And I hope all of you started the verbs. Remember, we're supposed to, how are you supposed to select five? out of the list of 12 verbs that I send you. Now, can I have a volunteer? Teacher, <clears throat> me. Who is me? Arturo. Arturo, okay. All right, let me just have here my whiteboard so we can all See if you have any mispronunciation. <clears throat> okay, let me just find. Uh... Alrighty. So, which ones did you select? <clears throat> um, cut off. Okay. All right. Let's. What's the past? Cut off. And a past participle. Cut off. 
that was really easy, huh? So that's why you picked it. All right, which which other one? Um, damage. Okay. Pass form. Damaged. Okay. Pass participle. And damage too. Okay. All right. So which other one? Mm. Disrupt. Mm -hmm. Past. Disrupted. Okay. And past participle. Disrupted. Past participle. No participle. Okay. Now, no, number three. Well, number four. Mm. <clears throat> Establish. Mm -hmm. Pass. Mm. Established. Repeat it again, please. Established. Okay. Mm. Pass participle. Parsible. Parsible on. Um, established to. All right. Go with the next one. Mm. Improve. Mm -hmm. Past. Improved. Past participle. Improved. Okay, so let's say so far so good. Thank you very much, Arturo. So we got George in here, Arturo. Who's the next one? Me, teacher. Cesar, go ahead, please. Is uh, improved. I'm sorry? Improved. Okay. Past. Improved. Okay. Improved. Okay. Okay. Good. Is the second is my time. My time. Okay. Past. Is my time. Okay. Past participle. My time. Okay. Next one. Is um promote promote okay past is promote okay is part of is promote okay next one is crystal okay Past. Past is restored. Say it again. Restored. Okay. And past participle? Restored. Okay. And the last one? Is several. Okay. Past is several. Okay. Pass participle. Pass participle is uh, seven. Okay. Thank you very much. That's for Cesar. Thank you. Who's the next okay. one? <clears throat> Me, teacher Noemi. Noemi, go ahead, please. Uh, put off. I'm sorry. Put off. Cut off. Okay. Cut off. Mm-hmm. Uh, past tense, uh, good off, and past participle, good off. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> the next one. Um, saber. Okay. Savored. Okay. And saber. Okay, next one. Um... Resume. I'm sorry, what? Resume. Ah, okay. Resume. Ah. Resume. Okay. Resume. Okay. Next one. Restore. Restore. Okay. Restore. Restore. Okay. Next one. Uh, main, maintain. Okay. 
Maintained. Maintained. Thank you very much. That's Noemi. Yeah. Next one. Next one. And me, teacher Rosemary. Rosemary, go ahead, Rosemary. Thank you. <clears throat> um. In proud. Okay. In proud. Okay. And in proud. All right. Okay. Next one. Yeah. This. Disrupt. Okay. Disrupt. Okay. And disrupt. Okay. Next one. <clears throat> Maintain. Okay. Maintained. Mm -hmm. And maintained. Okay. Next one. Um. Promote. Mm -hmm. Promote. And promote. Okay. Okay. Next one. Um, develop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, develop it. Okay. And develop. Okay. All right. Thank you. Who's the next one? Me, teacher. Sonia. So now this was Rosemary. Okay, Sonia, let's go with you. Okay. Sever. Okay. Sever it. Okay. Resume. Resumed. Restore. Mm -hmm. Restored. Okay. Promote. Promote. Okay. Maintain. Maintained. Okay. Next one. Establish. Establish. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right, next one. <clears throat> Me, teacher Iris. Iris, go ahead, Iris. Cut off. Cut mm -hmm. off. Cut uh -huh. off. Okay. Damage. Damage. Um, okay. Damage. Okay. Damage. Damage. Okay. Uh, fill up. He locked. He locked. Um, I, I, I didn't understand that. Can you repeat it again? He locked. I don't know if you mean this. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Next one. <laughs> um, improve. Okay. Improved. Okay. Improved. Okay. Um, <clears throat> promote. Okay. Promoted. Okay. Promote. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you very much. It is, who is the next one? No, we'll intentar, teacher. <laughs> okay, let's try with you, uh, Alberto. Let's say, Francisco, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Damage. Okay. <clears throat> Damage. Damage. Okay. Next um, one. Develop. 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 Uh, disrupt. Mm -hmm. Disrupt. Okay. Uh, establish. Okay. 
establish okay um, maintain 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 thank you very much <laughs> thanks teacher i'm sorry for my error <laughs> that's my okay <laughs> that's okay no problem next one me teacher here i've been here i've been go ahead uh, damaged 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 okay develop developed and developed okay disrupt disrupted and disrupted okay established established and established okay maintain maintained and maintained okay i just got something in here Okay. All right. So let's say that's arriving. <clears throat> Thank you, arriving. Who's the next one? Me, teacher Nadia. Nadia, let's go. And cut off. Okay. The class is cut off. Mm -hmm. Class participle cut off. Okay. The mesh. The mash mm -hmm. and the mash. Okay, next one. Develop. Okay. Develop and develop it. Okay. Disrupt. Disrupted and disrupted. Okay. Encourage. Encourage, encourage, and encourage. Okay, thank you. Establish, okay, establish it and establish it. Okay, thank you very much, Nadia. Mm -hmm. Next one. In... No, I mean, that that's okay, just that's okay, just five. Now, who is the next person? I tried, teacher. Who are you, Jenny? Jenny. Jenny. <clears throat> okay, Jenny, go ahead, Jenny. Uh, server. Okay. Servert. Servert. Okay, I am. Uh, good off. Okay. Good off. And good off. And damaged. Damaged. And damaged. Okay. And resume, resumed, resumed. Okay. And developed, mm -hmm. developed, developed. Okay. And well, that's okay. You you have okay. five already. So Jenny, okay. thank you. Okay. Already. So who is the next one? Me, teacher, Wendy. Wendy, go ahead, Wendy. Okay. Restore. Okay. Restored. Okay. And restored. Good. Prom promote. Mm -hmm. Promoted. And promoted. Okay. Encourage. Encourage. And encourage. Okay. Damage. Damage and damage okay maintain maintain and maintain it mm, okay okay good thank you wendy who's the next one me teacher who are you maritza maritza go ahead maritza <clears throat> Okay. Disrupt. Mm -hmm. Disrupted. Okay. Disrupted. Established. 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 Improve. Improved. Improved. Okay. 
promote, promoted, promoted. Okay. Damage, damaged, okay. and damaged. All right. So thank you, Maritza. Next one. Did we all participate already? No. <clears throat> I am missing Debbie. Debbie, go ahead, Debbie. Okay. Disrupt. Okay. Disrupted. Okay. Damage. Damaged. Okay. Resume. Resumed. Okay. Restore. Restored. Promote. Promote it. Okay. And I'm I'm not sure if I have five. Yeah, you have five already. <clears throat> Thank you, Debbie. Who's the next one? <clears throat> Me teacher. Who are you? Janira. Janira, <clears throat> okay. Uh, only passing post participle, right? Yeah, go ahead. Developed. Disrupted, encourage, establish, improved. And all case is the same. Okay, so next one. You only told me three. <laughs> me, teacher. Patricia, okay, so she looks like she didn't want to say more. Janita, already. <laughs> Let's go with you, Janina. Oh, I'm sorry, Patricia. Okay. Cut off. Cut mm -hmm. off. Cut off. Develop. 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 Maintain. 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 Promote. 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 Restore. 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 Okay. All right. Patricia, okay. Who is me? Daisy. Daisy, okay. Let me just take a screenshot of these ones. Okay, let's see. All right, good. Now let me go with another part and let's go. Let me see these ones. It's not working here. No, I still have this one. Okay, let me just take a screenshot of these participants in here. Okay, good. Now, let's go with you. What's your name again? Daisy. Daisy. Let's go, Daisy. <clears throat> Good off. Good off. Okay. The develop. Develop. Okay. Established, established. Okay. Improve, Next. improve. Okay. Next one. Restored, restored. Okay. All right, so I, I guess we have five. Okay, who is the next one? Or did you all guys participate already? <laughs> well, so that's that's the time off. So if you didn't participate, or just let me take a screenshot of this one. Hello, and... teacher. Hello, who are you? Sorry. I'm Richard. I'm Richard, teacher. Oh, Richard. Okay, Richard. <clears throat> Really, I, I couldn't practice the bears, the, the list of bears you, you got, but I know other bears, for example, I don't know, you can, can I, can I say that? No, it is uh, bad, but I know. Okay, no, that's okay. If you didn't do it, um, well, I don't know what I, what else can tell you, but, um, Wow, so if you know, like, uh, at least three some other verbs, at least try to tell them. So let me listen to them. Yeah, teacher, for example, I know we speak, I spoke, spoken, for example, mm -hmm. um, 
Good, good, good. Um, all right. All right. I'm right sorry. What, what was it? Cut. What was the second one? Good, cut, cut. I don't know how do you say. How okay. do you pronounce? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, and and the last one. And the last one is it is um wake walk walking. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. I just so, so, okay. So I, really, teacher. Sorry. No, I that. Have time. Okay. All right. So thank you for the other ones, guys, that uh, participated. I already have your scores here. And as you noticed, some of you had some little lines. Some of you had some other, you know, notes in there. It's because of the pronunciations. Okay. So, um, but well, I hope for tomorrow I will give you all you know, uh, I will check what I got today and I will tell you which parts we need to improve, okay? Which parts we need to improve. Now, we're going to go, guys, to the breakout rooms and we are going to have a conversation about what? This is the, the question that I want you to discuss. It's, do I want to live in another country? Why? X and I want you to use some of the vocabulary that we saw today at the beginning, okay? Do I want to live in another country? Why? Okay, so that's the question we're going to be talking about. I will be checking you all, guys. Please, I need everyone to participate. If I don't see you participating while I'm there, Okay, so remember, your participation and attendance are very necessary in this course. So please go ahead, guys. Sure. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, it, it's, not, uh -huh. it's not letting you get in? No. All right, let me see if I can move you to another one. Okay, let's move Ricardo to number... Let's see, to number two, and let's move you to number one. Okay, try to do it now. Okay, thank you. Right. Do I want to live in another country and why? For I don't me, know. Maybe. <laughs> For me, maybe because in other country, maybe the, the weather is more cool <laughs> or more. In, in my case, I'm happy um, in, my, in, my, in my country. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I love my I country, but I, I, <laughs> I like to, to live in another country because um, it's for the progress in my world or my stu study. <laughs> and study. Study and study um, for no other places <laughs> too. For me, it's no. very interesting. Yeah. Inter you you could you could um uh work about your 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 knowledge okay alejandro yeah, is not assistant, uh, sorry alejandro is no important it's important important okay mm -hmm. so maybe you you could work as an assistant i i, I think i don't know yes i could just, do that uh, well i think the the Opportunities uh, are como, uh, 
there are few opportunities to get a, a good job. Yes. Because uh, most of the jobs are, for example, cleaning houses yeah. and uh, I don't know, how, uh, cleaning backyards and taking care of uh, ill people. I don't know how to say gente enferma. You can uh, say people uh, will this with diseases or ill people, as you said. Okay. Yes, and I think this is the uh, most of the of the jobs available for us in another countries. I kind of that, and I really don't want to to do that. I I think the 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 job that I have right now, is, well, I love it. And, okay. Well, I don't know. I really don't want to to live in another country because of that. Because I don't want to start from the beginning. Okay, it's okay. Uh, what from you? from from zero. Uh, yes, but yes, I don't know. What yes. about you? What let you let me just living... let me just ask you this question. How do we say empezar de cero? Uh, in English. Uh, no, start from zero. That's uh, like the little translation. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh... So we say start from scratch. From scratch. From scratch, like aruñar. I don't know. Yeah, let me write that down if you if you want me to start. Like your teacher from scratch. What, what is a scratch? Scratch? Right? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's what you mean. But remember that in English, we have some expressions that are proper expressions of the language. So uh, when we say start from scratch, we're not saying araña, right? So we're saying <laughs> empezar desde cero, start from scratch. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Already. Okay, please. The other ones participate Ricardo, Patricia, and Rosemary. Rosemary, please tell us. And what about the other? What about the other? Um, Javier, how about you? Javier? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I would like to travel to Australia because I think it's a beautiful country and the language is similar to USA and I hope I I improve my English there and the landscape and the understand can can you repeat please? The, the um, country. The country. Mm -hmm. is uh, oh. a holy, holy land. Tierra Santa. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but only <laughs> this. Yeah. Yeah. But only yeah. this. Very good. For me, I would like to, to live in Canada. All right. Very good. Or in London, mm. <laughs> about the climate, and it's very cool. cool. <laughs> Canada it's is cool. a is a clean city, and yeah. in that country, Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? <laughs> that sounded like kindergarten, right? <laughs> yeah. 
is, is my favorite song. <laughs> yeah, I remember Normalmente that. Que siempre que salíamos de, de, de sala siempre cantaba eso hasta ahora que me, me acuerdo de nuevo. Así que, hello teacher, hello teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's the kindergarten song. That's really cool though, so that you remember that. Now, uh, let's see. Um, oh, we still have some people in the other room. Let's just wait for them. All right, so before we go, guys, I would just like to listen to one of you telling me your opinion about why would you like to live in another country and tell me a reason or tell me why not would you like to live. So can someone tell me that? Yeah. I am here, teacher. teacher. Uh, who said that? Let's... Yeah, uh, would you like to share your opinion or what? Yeah, teacher, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Um we are we are we are we were talking about the, the living in the other country. I said in my case I don't like other country because I know Costa Rica and Costa Rica is very expensive, the food, the mm -hmm. life, really is it is not it is not interesting for me, but mm -hmm. really in, in Costa Rica, is we, they, they are a lot of opportunity because it is a big country, but the, mm -hmm. it's very expensive, all, all really. Really, I love my country. For me, the, El Salvador is the best country in the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, we, uh, but that's your opinion then. Thank you very much. Yeah. Probably uh, someone else might have a different opinion about El Salvador. But believe me, guys, we, even though everything looks very expensive and some families can barely afford to eat sometimes in El Salvador, there are some other countries which food and everything is way more expensive. Like you cannot even imagine like for example everyone wants to go to united states it's like oh my god that's a very expensive country and you know it's not what you expect it's like they uh they tell you that's the american dream but once you get there it's not that a dream or it's not the dream that you thought it will be but you know if you are proud of el salvador that's okay. We're Salvadorians, every one of us. Or does any one of you has any other nationality apart from El Salvador? No? Can I have a question? No. Yeah. What's your What's question? What's your opinion to dangerous state? You are staying in this moment. Dangerous state. What do you mean? Uh, sorry, I think I didn't say it well. What do you think about the dangerous state that is in the United States? I think I didn't say it well. Oh, uh, well, United States has always have that black side that probably Salvadorians never think about it because they make you think that uh, United States is the best country and you get a lot of opportunities in there. But, you know, uh, violence is on the streets. Yeah, for really, yeah. high school yeah. actually. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yeah, very, I mean uh, the shooting at, at schools, yeah. it's very, yeah. very we I have never seen that in El Salvador. Never. Like you uh, you know that some guys go to the school and then they kill some some kids. I've I have never seen that in my life. And well, I don't know in the past. I am 27 so far, so I, I mean, I don't know, but you know, it's like, that's life. So, yeah. um, yeah, what? Um, I think so. Um, the Salvador is a beautiful country. It and, is, in fact. And it actually is, is, is security is, um, is high. Uh, yeah, we, we all think and, you know, we all have different opinions on security and, you know, things like that. But um, if we look back some years, it's like it's a little different. I'm going to say that that's a little different. 
from 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 where we were before. And, you know, tourism in El Salvador, we have a lot of beautiful places in El Salvador. That's a fact. For example, here uh, where I live, it's like, have you ever heard of the Crystal Bridge? Have you ever heard about the Crystal Bridge in El Salvador? Yes. Hmm. So yes. I live in yes, this I area. I live in this area, like in Alegria. So, yes. and Usulutan, so... Believe me, here it's beautiful. It's like the weather, it's cold. And, you know, I love cold weather because then you can get a cup of coffee and then you get your little blanket yeah. and then you just sleep very okay. happy. Do you love the weather, thermal weather? Do you love the weather, thermal weather? Thermal weather. Uh, You mean like hot or cold? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, love, I love cold. Yeah, no, like. Estoy diciendo correcto. Aguas termales, thermal world, o es what uh, cold water. Oh, you you mean water, no weather. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And, you know, as I was saying, we have beautiful places in El Salvador, and we just have to take advantage of that. If you have the opportunity to go and make tourism in El Salvador, that's okay. So, well. We already passed seven minutes, guys. I want to say thank you very much for the ones that participated in the activities that we have for today. For tomorrow, we will also have more activities regarding two verbs. So after we finish the class, I will send you once again another list of verbs. And tomorrow, we are going to have that. So from next week, which is our pretty much like our last week, right? And we are going to have, I will teach you, let, let's say, slang. What does, do you know what a slang is? Do you know no, what that is? No teacher. Uh, Anglicismo. Yeah, right. That's slangs. So are, you know, phrases as specifically from the English language that you can never change them. You can never translate them because if you translate them, literally that won't make sense at all so we will i will start doing that guys um for example start from scratch yeah they didn't know how to oh, say in the next blue moon, right teacher the what in the next blue moon for example in the next blue moon yeah that's right yeah for example uh er arriving it's didn't know steak. like como decimos empezar desde cero and some of you might say like, oh, start from zero. No, we don't say that. In English, we don't say that. Si usted dice eso, eh, automáticamente se sabe que usted está aprendiendo inglés, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so we say start from scratch. Si usted quiere decir, quiero empezar desde cero. Or for example, empieza algo desde cero. Usted le dice, you have to start from scratch. Tiene que empezar desde cero. So those are phrases that are going to help you guys to sound more native of the language. So I'm um, sorry to take nine minutes of your time, guys. Sorry for that. I uh, hope you have a good night and see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 B